Hello, I'm Mackenzie, and I chose to do a problem that has to do with swim because I used to be a swimmer. Um, so a swim coach has to set up the lane lines and border for an open water swim meet. He only has 400 meters of floating lane line and needs to make seven lanes. What is the largest he can make the enclosed water with the amount he has? So this is the picture of what the word problem is asking for. So since it's an open water, it means that the lane lines will be on the borders as well. So Y would be the width here, and then X would be the length. And we have eight X's since it's seven lanes. So since he has 400 meters, eight X, all these X's plus two Y, these two Y's, is going to be equal to 400 meters. We can solve for y. So 2y is equal to 400 minus 8x. And then we can divide by 2. So y is going to be equal to 200 minus 4x. Now since we're going to be looking for the area to find x and y, we're going to use the area formula for a rectangle. So it's area equals length times width. And our y is going to be equal to our length and our x is equal to our width. So a is equal to 200 minus 4x times x. So the area is going to be equal to 200x minus 4x squared. Now to find the maximum for that, we got to find the derivative. So a prime is going to be quite simple. It's just 200 minus 4, sorry minus 8x, because we took the exponent down. And then to find the maximum, we set the equal to 0. So if we basically solve for x, um, it's going to be negative 8x is equal to 200x is equal to, ooh, sorry negative 200. So x is equal to negative 200 over negative 8, which is going to be equal to 25. Okay, so now that we did that, even though we know that our point is going to be 25, we're still going to check to see where it's increasing and decreasing. So here we have our x equals 25. We're going to try x equal to 30 and x equal to 20. So whenever we plug in a of 30, we get negative 40. So since that's negative, we're decreasing. And then whenever we plug in a of 20, we get 40. So it's a positive 40, so it's going to be increasing. So we know this is our point of our max. So our x is going to be equal to 25. So now we can just plug that in to this equation. So our y is going to be equal to 200 minus 4 times 25. And that's going to be equal to... 100. So our y value is going to be 100 meters and our x value is going to be 25 meters for each of these lanes.